Ladies and gentlemen, I want to run a marathon, so I'm going to do that. Uh, this first week is just a baseline week, so I'm just going to figure out where I am. I can tell you where I am because I already know. I haven't run or gone on a run or done anything like that in a long-ass time. I don't think I've gone on a run in, like, a couple months. And I haven't, like, exercised really much in a couple months either. So it's going to be rough. But basically, I want to run a marathon, so I'm going to train up to a half marathon in three months. And then hopefully, like, three to six months after that, I will do my marathon. So basically, I know I can still run. I know I'm still in shape and I don't eat like garbage. So I know I'll be able to ramp up to it quickly. But it is going to be rough initially. Back in the day, back in my heyday, I was a pretty good runner. I would I run the mile a couple times in, I think, the mid-five-minute mid, mid range. And for a guy that never did track, I consider that a win. I think that's pretty good. Um, and pretty much I can roll out of bed and run most amount of miles like that I'd want. Like I can run I, right now, I can go outside and run five miles if I want. That's no problem. But I don't want to just like roll out of bed and do a half marathon and then be broken for like the next month because that is, that is kind of what happens if I run higher miles. Like I'll run like five, six miles. I've done that before. And the next day I wake up and I'm in quite a bit of pain. So I think it'd be awesome to actually train up to it and then get really good at it. So then I can consistently do stuff like 12, 13 mile runs and not have it be a major deal. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. And I think a marathon is just one of those checkbox things that I want to say. I could be, maybe I could say I've done. And then foreshadowing in the future, if I can get this done, I think I'd like to do an Ironman in the future. Maybe not necessarily super soon, but that's like a long-term goal for this. So doing the marathon, I think, is just the first logical step in that. I already know how to swim really well, and biking, that'll be something I have to train for too. But I'm going to stick to a marathon right now. And I just, I've always liked running. I like the, I like the mental aspect behind running, or like it clears my head, because if I'm really struggling and I'm really breathing hard and really running hard, I can't focus on anything else. So I really, really enjoy running, and I think training for a marathon will just kind of force me to enjoy running more. Not like I already enjoy running, but it'll force me to run more because I don't like I don't actually get into running and I don't actually do it that often, just because like I think there's other more interesting stuff to do. Like if I could, I'd rather go out and like play a sport, for example, for my cardio, but I just, I do know that I love running. And so I just want to basically use training for a marathon to force me to do it more because it's also something that I want to do. And I think that, uh, I think that I will kind of look back on it and regret kind of not doing it. Like, it, let's say I'm like, I don't know. I hear a lot of people talking about the fact that they blink and they're 40. And it's like, ah, do I want to start training for a marathon when I'm 40? Probably not. I mean, I know I could. I know I could do it. I know plenty of older people that have done it. But why not just start now? Start like, I'm just, I would just rather do it now. Just do all the stuff that I want to do now. And then later in life, you, you, I'm always picking up stuff I want to be able to do. So if I'm excited about running a marathon right now, I say I want to do it right now then. So I'm going to train up. I have a schedule to work up to it, a 12-week schedule, so that works out perfectly because I'll be running in three months. And I'm interested to see how this first week will go. It's supposed to be fairly light, but it's not, it's not no joke. I mean, they're still, still going to be running probably like over 10 miles this week as like an intro week. So I think it'll be an amazing barometer for it. But yeah, this video is basically just saying, I'm going to run a marathon soon and you guys will see my training what i have to do for it each week and how i kind of progress i'll kind of give you updates on how many miles i run how many days i run if i ever had to like skip a workout and kind of my cardio how it improves or maybe it declines i doubt it and how my legs do because my legs i'm trying to do a lot of different things right now so i'm interested to see how my legs will hold up with all my other goals that I want to do. And 
I'm interested to see if marathon running will wind up just kind of weakening my knees and making it harder for to do hard, making it harder for me to do other things or if just using my legs more and continuing to get a, enough rest will make them a lot stronger and then a little bit more uh, versatile so I can do stuff like dunking and still running and doing like lifting and squats and stuff like that so I'm super excited about this I cannot wait to get started and this time next week, you will have an updated video on how the training went for this very first week. So I'm super excited. I'll keep you posted. If you guys want to join along and also want to run a marathon, I will uh, post the splits next week and like you guys can see if you want to do it. Or if you're just excited about any other self-improvement goals that you want to do, let me know. That's what this entire thing is about. Create a better community for self-improvement because I think it's just fun and just start checking off stuff just just, uh, just start checking stuff off your bucket list. Marathon is on there. I just want to do it right now. So if you have anything like that, hopefully this serves as inspiration. Thank you guys. And I will see you next week for this and tomorrow for my other goal that I want to do.